I know who is responsible for the death of Cook McGill. The fact is, you, Trout, were hopelessly in love with Cook and in a fit of jealous rage could have made her her last supper. If you couldn't have her, no one could. And you, Lady Beaky, tired of the endless blackmail after you stole Lady Ashby's diamonds and with Cook's demands and threats growing, could have put an end to her once and for all. You, Reverend Beaky, Cook knew of your hobbies and to protect your reputation as village vicar could have read her her last rites. And you, Alice, raised as a feral maid upon seeing Wayne taken for his daily walk, could have lost control and struck a blow for wild dogs everywhere. But Alice wasn't just involved with you, Reverend. In fact, she was in love with Fennec the Gardener. From the very small pieces of fresh-cut glass on the back of Alice's apron, I had deduced that she had recently been in very close contact with either Fennec or his assistant Withers. As Withers suffers from a birth defect making it impossible to operate lawnmowers, it had to be Fennec. On his way to lay rat poison in the West Wing, he meets Alice. On hearing the approaching cook, Alice and Fennec quickly withdraw to the pantry, leaving the bottle of poison behind. As Cook prepares luncheon, she takes the chance to make a forbidden sandwich. As she cuts off some roast beef, she hears a noise and presses her ear to the pantry door. The door swings open and smashes her glasses. She stumbles back to the kitchen, unable to see anything more than shapes. She takes a bite of a sandwich, spoons in some poison, has a sip of tea, and then collapses. The killer of Cook McGill was... Cook McGill. Lunch is served.